Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Acer Aspire laptop. This specific one is Acer Aspire V5 or also known as a V5-472P-6467 model. And in this video I'm gonna go over how you can upgrade the RAM and what are the RAM combination that you can have in here. Obviously the specification for this one is right over here, this is an iCore 7. 3217U and in here it tells you that it comes with a 4 gig DDR3 RAM installed. You, I made a short video like about one minute long that how you can check your maximum RAM capacity for any laptop or PC without downloading any program. I'll leave that link in the video description that you can actually look at it so you know how much RAM you can have. But out of the box I know that iCore 3 3217U can handle up to 32 gig RAM. So you can still verify that by the code that uh, is in the other video. But in this video, I'm going to go ahead and open it up and show you how you can add and what are the configuration that is in there. All right. So what are you going to do? Um, by doing this, you're not going to lose any files or the Windows configuration or anything like that. Or even if when you add uh, more RAM, you don't have to do any clicking around or uh, doing any other configuration. Anyway. First thing first, you want to power off the laptop completely. You want to flip it upside down. You want to grab yourself a screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set as they, as they have one of the best screwdrivers out there. These are S2 class steel. That means they will last you many years. We're going to be using a Philips number one from this tool set. If you get the pro set, you will get an opening tools and some tweezers and few other stuff which is good but not you get the simple set the screwdriver set and for the opening tool i'll suggest you guys grab a metallic guitar pick all the metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers so we're going to be using this one so what are we going to do down here we want to remove all the screws that we see on the bottom casing including the two in the middle don't forget that and double check make sure you have removed all of them don't worry, all the screws are the same size and height, so you don't have to worry about mismatching them to know where which screw goes where. So just go ahead and remove all of them and keep in one single big file. Big pile. Again, if you guys like my videos and you want to support the channel, you can do that by clicking the like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It will be a great, tremendous support and motivation for me to make more videos, take requests, answer your questions in the comment area. That will be a really nice thing to give back. If any of the screws don't come out, just grab a magnet, pull them out with a magnet. I'll attach the magnet in here. There we go. Now we remove all the screws. Now what you need to do is to grab the opening tool or the guitar pick. You want to stick it between the bottom cover and the palm rest right there. And you want to just twist it and you want to hit a few clicks. That's what you want to hear. You want to go all around every two centimeters or one. And do that for all around to the corners, to the back corners, to the front, left and right. And you should see a cover getting up pretty much. This one is already coming up. So once you open... So once you open up the front side, just pick it up from, grab it and wiggle it around and it will release the back. And as always, I forgot a screw right here. So make sure you remove all the screws and lift it up, bring it up and wiggle it around and it should release itself. And there we go. There we have it. Okay. All right, down here we're gonna see the whole motherboard and the hard drive, the battery, everything is in here. And right away, I see that there is only one RAM dim right here. And in the task manager, it says one out of two because the task manager it detects the motherboard soldered on the board RAM as a dim. You cannot replace this. So there's a four gig soldered on the board, and they give you additional one slot to add an extra RAM. You can add an, another eight gig in here if you want. So you can just grab and these are DDR3 RAM. So grab any DDR3 RAM I have on the hand here, 2 gig. So what, first thing, before we continue, people always go in like a haywire on me, they're like, okay, you should disconnect the battery to do this. 
absolutely you don't need to disconnect the battery to add a ram and remove the rams is absolutely not necessary if you want to be one of those persons that needs to disconnect the ram all you need to do is to pull these cables back grab it from the side of the jack just like this and wiggle around and the jack will come out loose pretty easy to put it back in make sure you align it and just pinch it towards the jack and that's it that's how you disconnect the battery but you don't need to back to the ram with the RAM, you, when you get the RAM dim, make sure you, the notch on the RAM matches the notch on the RAM dim right over here. There's a notch right here. You want to make sure the notch on the RAM matches there. And you want to put it in as a, you're landing a plane. So you want to come in down in 45 degrees all the way towards the dim. Make sure all the pins go towards the dim. And then simply, you want to see it in this position. And what you want to do, you want to gently press it towards the motherboard and you should hear two triggers clicking. Just like that. These triggers open and they close automatically. And that's how you know the RAM is in place. And to remove the RAM, just pull these two triggers away from each other and the RAM will pop out in 45 degree angle. Just grab it and pull it out in a 45 degree angle. Pull it in in 45 degree, push it towards the motherboard and it locks in. And that's how you remove or add the RAM. This is a demonstration, so I'm not going to be adding any RAM, but that's how you can add the RAM. Once you add the RAM in there, all you need to do is to grab the bottom cover. First, put scoop down the back end, all this I.O. side down, the HDMI port, bring it from the back, all the way in, scoop it in, and that should be all. And the last thing down here would be to put the bottom screws all over the case. And once you turn on the... Don't forget to plug in the battery if you have disconnected. Once you power on, it might take about 5 to 10 seconds to boot up. So the motherboard is going to do a RAM check, which is called a MEM check. And that takes sometimes between 5 to 10 seconds. So don't, pa don't panic, just be patient and it should work fine. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws.